Weeks one and two extension. We're going to add E minor to the G and the C that we have. So, we've got our G. It's a partial G, right? We're just doing these two right here. G, G, G. Okay? And then we're going to add the C down there. Now we are only using these two fingers. To make the E minor, we just slide everything back. Okay? And you can use all six there. So from this C to there. Now for me, that's kind of awkward fingering, like I'm squishing in my elbows all, you know, inside my ribs like this. So I just change to there. And I slide, and I slide, I guess, uh, my middle finger stays. It goes from here on the bass note of the C to here, and then I put my ring finger underneath on string four. Okay, so here's my C, there's my G E minor, using those two fingers. But you could use these two fingers. You could use these two fingers, although it wouldn't be very economical to do that. Okay, all right. So now what we want to do, we got another bell. We're gonna always have that bell in these videos. All right, so, we have our G, two, three, four. Now a C for four, two, three. Now we're gonna to move to an E minor. E minor, two, three, four. And come back to a C, two, three, four. E minor. This time we're gonna to go to a G. We got three, four to a G, two, three. And we'll have one long G. Okay? So I just jumped in between those two chords to so go G, C, E minor, E minor, C, G, because the different songs you're going to play, they're going to put them in different orders. You also notice that when I was on this E minor, I slid out, I brought this finger up, and I put it there for a C. Completely fine. You can, I can play a G that way. You can play whichever fingers that, that you want, okay? It's not one right way to do this. The, it's going to be what's going to be the easier way and the more economical way. All right? Next video, I'll show you how to play a song with these three chords. Have fun practicing.